Hayley Baldwin's Blood Moisturizer, Sandra Bullock's Penis Facials, and Rihanna testing out eyebrows on a doppelganger. This week on MTV News Unfiltered, we look at some of the most extra celebrity beauty routines. We also investigate how ugly shoes got so fashionable after Post Malone's collab with Crocs sold out in minutes. And speaking of garish fashion, we talk about why you should get in the spirit of Christmas Jumper Day. Breaking news! Rihanna tests potential eyebrow styles on a doppelganger before committing to the full look. In an Entertainment Weekly interview with Hollywood eyebrow master Damone Roberts, he discussed her Met Gala look, saying, So literally, a look-alike model trialed and tried and everything else until we got them perfect. Makes sense. If you're gonna bleach your brows, you want to make sure you look like the Pope of High Fashion that Rhi is, and not just a more contoured version of Voldemort. As Detroit Princess tweets, Rihanna eyebrow look-alike test model is the kind of extra I dream of being one day. But of course, Rihanna's not the only one dabbling in extremely extra beauty routines. Hayley Baldwin uses a moisturizer made from her own blood. She told Teen Vogue, I use a range of products by Barbara Stern. She took out blood from my arm and put it into a machine that spins it and separates the plasma from your blood before putting it into a lotion for your skin. Cool. That's not even the weirdest skincare regimen out. Hollywood's recently gone hard for the penis facial favored by stars like Kate Blanchett and Sandra Bullock. Apparently it involves a serum made from stem cells cultivated from the circumcised foreskins of Korean babies. Apparently. It's also 465 pounds. Or what about the time Charlotte Crosby and Co. confessed they use Coca-Cola as self-tanner? There you have it folks, blood, <laughs> and doppelgangers. And I thought using olive oil when I run out of makeup wipes was extra. Post Malone's second collaboration with your dad's favorite shoe brand, Croc, sold out in minutes. Again. So, how did the humble croc ascend to such heady heights? Let's rewind. A couple of years ago, British designer Christopher Kane sent them down a spring summer 17 catwalk, and then Balenciaga followed suit for spring summer 18. ID magazine later noted that these collabs changed the perception of the shoe from comfortable but ugly to expensive but fashionable. Their massive popularity also ties in with the last couple of years overwhelming love for ugly shoes in general. We've had Hayley Baldwin and Bella Hadid embracing Balenciaga's triple S's, Rihanna lathering her legs up and thigh-high Uggs, and Kendall Jenner trotting on the chunkiest of Yeezys. Podiatrists worldwide rejoice. But why the obsession? Could it be that as democracy crumbles around us, we crave a stable platform on which to wade through this mess? Has our 90s nostalgia got us craving chunky things like feelers and sketches, which are now all enjoying a renaissance? Or are we just spending so much time hunched over screens that we're really concerned about our posture? Fashion ebbs and flows, humans are fickle, trends die. But given how quickly Post Malone's Crocs sold out, this one seems to have a little more legs. And long may it live. I have really flat feet and need to wear orthotics in all my shoes and they don't fit in no Louboutins. What is going on people? Today is Christmas Jumper Day and I'm gonna be raising money for Save the Children running around King's Cross Station. So if you see me, tap me on the shoulder, donate two pounds for a great cause and listen, together we can make the world better with a sweater. Another year, another Christmas jumper day. Yes, I know, garish sweaters with pom-poms for Santa eyes are normally reserved for your Uncle Dave's fruitless attempts to live in the mood at Christmas lunch. But this is different. This is for a good cause. Save the Children Charity are encouraging everyone to wear Christmas sweaters to raise awareness and money for their initiatives, which include implementing education and nutrition programs worldwide. So many people have got involved and you can get involved by donating just two pounds to Save the Children at christmasjumperday.org or by texting DONATE to 70050. If you want to get involved on your finest best of attire, but don't forget, while we're saving the children, we're also trying to save the planet. So no need to drop a few quid on the high street for a jumper you'll never wear again. That money's better spent on a donation. Just glue some googly eyes on the sweater your mum gave you two Christmases ago that you pretended to love. Or borrow one of Uncle Dave's, he'll have plenty. In fact, this is one of his right here. Yo ho ho!